Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk Movies. If you are new here, like and subscribe for future content. So, over the last couple of hours, tons of people on Twitter are going around saying, Suck it, YouTubers. You hate Captain Marvel, but it's a success. With all that, no one actually said it was going to bomb. That it was going to lose money. No one said that. No one has even said that. So that's why I think it's actually really funny about the whole situation. You've got Pablo Hidalgo, the guy who's ruining Star Wars, and him and his wife, are, they're shouting abuse. Well, not shouting, they're tweeting abuse at uh, people. And, you know, on Twitter and everything else. Tons of, you know, you, again, you've got people who are replying going, yeah, look at them. They're going to be sad. Here comes angry videos. Well, no, it's not going to be angry videos because... From day one, everyone said it was going to be a success no matter what. Because it's a Marvel film. Marvel films are going to make bank no matter what. You know? Even if they're not that good, they're still going to make over 600 million. You know, obviously the odd, uh, the odd fish is the Ant-Man movies. Don't get me wrong, the Ant I love Ant-Man. Ant-Man and the Wasp as well. You know, they didn't exactly make that much money. So the first Ant-Man movie made five hundred and nineteen million dollars, while the sequel, Ant-Man and the Wasp, made six hundred and twenty-two million. You know, yeah, they may be a little bit lower than the actual other films in the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. Cinematic Universe, sorry, I've got something stuck in my throat. <coughs> Excuse me, but yeah, so you have them ones there, and it's still. It's still going to make money, no matter what. You know, it's. I can see Captain Marvel making between $650 and $850 million. It's going to make that no matter what. You know, and you know, they'll class that as a success, which, you know, obviously it will be. So, when you look at how much, you know, Captain Marvel so far has made $188 million worldwide. That's just from a couple of days, you know. And in America, well, so US and Canada, so the domestic box office, they've made $62 million so far. I think that was just for the Thursday and the Friday. So that's good. And I think it made 50-odd million over the Saturday. So obviously that'll be added on soon. So what you're probably looking, a total, I'd say, domestic weekend, you're probably looking at about a 140, maybe a 150 million weekend for domestic. And overall, you're probably looking, I would probably say, I'd probably put in the region of about 290, 300 million worldwide, I'd say. Which, again, would be good. Obviously, it's an origin film, so you get that. But when you get people going on Twitter, you're know, literally just looking to get, well, traffic to their tweets or whatever. Just so they can engage with them, so they can get their... Um, their metacritics and everything else up, and, you know, their schematics, whatever you want to call them, they're going to say, yeah, I spoke about this, and this happened. It's like, okay, that's fair enough. Okay, you know? It's like, domestically, when you look at each Marvel film, fair enough, you know, the first, you know, your Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, you know, they're the ones that made big business in America, you know? It's before the Avengers, Iron Man and Iron Man 2 were both in the 300 million domestic total. Credible Hulk, Thor and Captain America didn't even break 200 million at the domestic box office in their box office run. But obviously after those films came out, and you know, the, obviously the Avengers were 623 million America alone. You know, Iron Man 3, 400 Thor 2 was 206, Captain America 2, 259, Guardians of the Galaxy, 333, but then again you had Avengers, $460 million American total, but then obviously you had Ant-Man, which again, which was the first film, made $180 million. It's, I think you may see Captain Marvel around there, around the, you know, the, the 300 mark, obviously Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one, 333 American, but then you look at Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, that made 389 million American domestic. Not exactly that much difference between 1 and 2. 
Obviously, Spider-Man 334, Thor 3, 315, but obviously you had Black Panther and Avengers. Black Panther, 700 million total in America alone, and 678 million for Avengers Infinity War. It's not going to get those uh, those numbers, no chance. If they do, okay, you know, well done, you've managed to crack that. But I really can't see, because... Obviously, Black Panther and Avengers Infinity War, those were big event films. Obviously, Black Panther had the addition of appearing in Civil War, you know, two years before it actually came out. So people were anticipating it. They were expecting good films. Again, I love Black Panther. You know, I give it a 9 out of 10. I absolutely love Black Panther. It's great. Avengers Infinity War, another spectacular movie. 9 out of 10 for that one. But again, for me, I've, I've, I've said it before, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, is my number one Marvel movie. I think The Winter Soldier is just incredible. Everything about it is great. Again, like I have said, you know, I did see Captain Marvel. For me, I gave it a 6.7 out of 10. So it's in the top tier of the Marvel films. It's between Thor 2 and Iron Man 2. But I can see it breaking the, you know, the $1.3 billion worldwide Black Panther. It's not even going to scratch the $2 billion on Infinity War. What we're probably looking at, I would say, it's going to be between Doctor Strange level of money, which was, a, which was $677 million, And it's probably going to go up as far, I would probably say... You're looking about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which is 863. So it's going to be between them two, I think, between those numbers. So 650 million and 850 million. But people are going on, oh, look at these people. Ah, it's like, look at you, for, you know, basically them saying fuck you to people. But it's not, because no one has said it was going to make no money. Well, not the people I've seen anyway. I haven't said it's not going to make any money. Of course it's going to make money. It's a Marvel movie. Of course. Marvel, you can literally slap Marvel on anything and it's going to make money. That's what it's like this day and age. You do get people who, you know, who would just go in to see it because, well, it's a Marvel film. And they've seen all 20-odd films in the cinema. Which, again, which is what I've done. You know, it's... The only one I haven't seen is Ant-Man and the Wasp because I just couldn't make it. So I'm now twenty. I'm twenty movies deep in the MCU. You know, I've put I've put eleven years and in dedication into this man. Some people, you know, they don't even do that with their fucking jobs. You know, they, you know, they don't dedicate it. Whatever. It's just like this is it, and that's it. You know, oh yeah, whatever. But I can see it making between six hundred and fifty and eight hundred and fifty million worldwide total. If you are new, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell to get the ding, and we'll see you soon.